guys, it's me, Zealand, here today in between the innings. I'm doing an NBA recap so far again. So, the last time I did this was... 16th, 13 days ago, so almost two weeks. So, I'm going to try to do this every two weeks. And after, wait, I'm recording this at 29, so you actually be seeing this exactly two weeks after I didn't think of that, I just thought that's actually a good idea. So every two weeks I'll do a recap of how the NBA looks so far. So I'm gonna go over the standings, I'm gonna go over the stats. That's basically it. So right now in the Houston Conference, this is how it goes. Brooklyn Nets, 14 and six. And remember the first team I say is the highest and as I go, they're lower. So I'm going by conferences right now. Actually, no, I'm gonna go by division. Okay. So in the Eastern Conference Atlantic Division, the Brooklyn Nets are 14 and 6, the Knicks are 11 and 9, Boston Celtics are 11 and 10, the Philadelphia 76ers are 10 and 10, and the Toronto Raptors are 9 and 12. In the Eastern Conference Central Division, the Milwaukee Bucks are 13 and 8, the Chicago Bulls are also 13 and 8, the Cleveland Cavaliers are 10 and 10, the Indiana Indiana Pacers are 9 and 13. And the Detroit Pistons are 4 and 16. In the Southeast Division, the Miami Heat are 13 and 7. The Washington Wizards are also 13 and 7. And the Charlotte Hornets are 13 and 9. The Atlanta, Haw Atlanta Hawks are 11 and 10. And the Orlando Magic are 4 and 17. Then in the Western Conference, in the Northwest Division, we have the Utah Jazz. They're 13 and 7. The Portland Trail Brazers are 10 and 10. The Minnesota Timberwolves are also 10 and 10. The Denver Nuggets are 9 and 10. And the Oklahoma City Thunder are 6 and 13. In the Pacific Division, the Golden State Warriors with the best record in the league, looking like their self from, I want to say 2016, 2015, when they had, they got the record for the best record. They only had like six, seven losses. They are 18 and two, crazy. The Phoenix Suns are 17 and 3 also without Kevin Durant this season. The LA Clippers are 11 and 9 in third. In fourth, we have the LA Lakers. They're 11 and 11. We're not doing good at all. The Sacramento Kings are 8 and 13. They're number 5. Then finally, it's Southwest Division. Dallas Mavericks, in my opinion, probably going to do better than the Lakers. They're my second favorite team as I am from Dallas. They are 10 and 8. The Memphis Grizzlies are 10 and 10. The San Antonio Spurs are 5 and 13. The New Orleans Pelicans are 5 and 17. And the Houston Rockets are 3 and 16. So I'm going to give my predictions right now as of how the season looks of what the playoffs are going to look like. I think the Phoenix Suns, the Golden State Warriors is obviously going to be the championship game to get in the NBA Finals. But I do hope the Mavericks go far. I don't know if they're going to be good until they build more of a team around Luka Doncic's. Uh, what's it? Porzingis, so bad last year in the postseason. Hard to watch. Utah Jazz are really good right now, but no, I don't think they even make the championship game. And then in the Eastern Conference, mm, Chicago Bulls, honestly, and Washington, no, Miami Heat. I think that would be the championship game. And then the Bulls would win that, and then in the Western Conference, Warriors win, Warriors, Bulls, and I don't know. I would say the Warriors would win, but I would root for the Bulls in that. My dad's from that Chicago area, so he's always kind of liked them, but he is a Lakers fan. He grew up here, and when he was so since he's seven, he's been a Lakers fan, watched Kobe Bryant in high school. But he does have fondness for the Bulls, so I would root for them in that. Then in the uh, stats so far, the season leaders, I'm going to go really quick. We have in the points, remember these are all per game, so these are averages. Kevin Durant has 28.6 points per game. Then tied with him, Stephen Curry for the Warriors, 98.6. I'm not going to say the team. Giannis Antetokounmpo has 27. Nikola Jokic has 26.4, and Trey Young has 26. Then in assist per game, Chris Paul has 10.1, James Harden has 9.4, Trey Young has 9, Russell Westbrook has 8.7, and Luka Doncic has 8.1. In three-pointers per game, Stephen Curry has 5.5, .5, 
Buddy Heald has 4. CJ McCollum for Portland has 3.3. Patty Mills for Brooklyn has 3.2. Fred Van Vliet has 3.2. The reason I said the teams are for CJ McCollum and Patty Mills is in case you don't know what teams they're on. These other guys are popular enough. You should know what team they're on. And then for defense and rebounds, Rudy Gobert has 14.4. Nikola Jokic has 13.6. Clint Capella for the Atlanta Hawks has 12.7. Jonas Valanciunas for New Orleans has 12.3. And Giannis Antetokounmpo has 11.8. In blocks, Miles Turner for the Pacers has 2.8. Anthony Davis has 2.3. Rudy Gobert, Rudy Gobert has 2.2. Daniel Gafford for Washington has 2.1. And Mo Bamba for Orlando Two. Then finally in steals, Alex Caruso for the Bulls has 2.3. Jimmy Butler has 2.1. DeJon DeJounte Murray for the Kings has 2.1. Marcus Smart for Boston has 2.1. And Gary Trent Jr. for Toronto has 2. That's it for today. In two weeks, I'll make another one of these NBA seasons so far. But yeah, my prediction right now for the NBA Finals is Warriors-Bulls. I think the Warriors win, but I hope the Bulls do. I think they would stand a chance against the Warriors. Thanks for watching. You should be seeing this Tuesday afternoon after I get home from school. But yeah, peace.